So when you plant a crop now, what happens is you drive an oil-powered machine, drives along, and it plows. Then you drive an oil, an, another oil-powered machine, and it drives along, and it plants. And then you irrigate. Well, how do you irrigate? Well, that water is pumped by pumps that are powered by electricity. Where does that electricity come from? In, in the United States, it's either coal or natural gas. So next thing you do is come along and you fertilize it. All commercial fertilizers are made from ammonia, and the feedstock for ammonia is natural gas. So you have ammonium nitrate fertilizers that are then sprayed on by another oil-powered vehicle. Then the crop dusters come along that are powered by oil that spray pesticides that are all made from petroleum. Then when it's time to harvest the food, what do you do? You drive another oil-powered machine and you harvest it. You use another oil-powered machine to drive it to a place where it's processed. <clears throat> then you wrap it up in plastic, which is oil, and you put it in another oil-powered machine and you drive it X number of miles to a food distribution warehouse, an oil-powered machine to your supermarket. The way food is grown, produced, and moved around the world today, it's an enormous waste of hydrocarbon energy, which doesn't make sense. Why do we have uh, strawberries from Chile? Why do we have spinach from China? Why do we ship anchovies halfway around the world to be packaged in tin cans and, you know? There are 10 calories of hydrocarbon energy in every calorie of food consumed in the industrialized world.